it has been a discussion in the org design field for a while, but I think leaders need to know they have a role as being the architect of their organization, mm, yeah, right? And yeah. it's not necessarily yeah. from the, the people I talk to, it's not something that they learned getting their MBA or in school, right? I mean, you can go to school and, you know, be in uh, org development, org design, but that's, you know, very few people do that. Um, and so for me, I think it's important as a leader to understand they have a role in being the architect of their department, team, you know, or, you know, whatever level you are at, as you progress in your career, your, the scope of your role as an architect increases and whether, you know, how they fill that role, you know, either be a consultant like us or they learn it themselves. Great. I can share a quick story of, uh, I was working internally and the head of a department, um, would annually make his annual trip to the chief administrative officer with his new org design. <laughs> and then she finally said, Hey, hold up on this. I need you to go talk to Eddie, talk to him about org design. I met with him. We had a quick meeting. I said, we have two options. You and I can sit in a room and we can crank out a design and you'll be done. Or we can go through a series of workshops to take your leadership team through it. He, what I thought wisely chose the latter. And, you know, when I followed up with him, a couple of years later, the continuous of, hey, here's my new structure. Things stopped. He would make some tweaks. And then um, a couple of years later, I ran into his successor, who was part of our org design team. And he was following the same, you know, same methodology. So it's a skill that can be learned. Mm. And it just Love it that. creates a lot of, you know, everybody, you know, has, I think, experienced a whiplash in an organization where you swing from centralized to decentralized or new leader comes in first thing to do is change the structure. I was like, well, you know, that's, you know, that's not the, that's not where you start in the process. Right. But we've all kind of experienced that. But anyway, for me, I thought it was a great example of through a, a series of workshops, they were able then to learn, transfer it. And even to, to his successor and his team, they went and started making small tweaks, which I think is really important. You know, when we talk about, you know, the, uh, the VUCA world and, being able to adapt quickly is if you, the more you understand, as Mark was saying, the design of whether it's a vehicle of a team or something, the, the more you can make tweaks to it and the easier it is for you to make tweaks. 